Welcome to Teacher Shirley channel. If this is your first time to come to my channel, or if you have come many times but haven't subscribed yet, remember to click subscribe and press the notification bell. Today, our title will be about Let's Experiment. It's on Pulse 2, page 52. Stay tuned. By the end of the lesson, pupils are able to Give the meaning of the difficult words. Categorize the words under the correct category. Form questions about the future. Okay, so there are some new words that you need to learn today. I have explained them in Bahasa Melayu and Mandarin. Why? The first one is D and E. Cloned. Genetically modified crops. Cure, disease, vaccine, amazing, spacecraft, satellite, wind turbine, solar panel, battery. DNA. Okay, DNA is something that we found in our body, something that differentiates us from other people. Cloned. Okay, something that is similar to another thing. Genetically modified crops, cure, disease, vaccine, amazing, spacecraft, satellite, wind turbine, solar panel. Normally we have solar panel at the top of at the roof on the roof of the house. Battery. Okay. I'm going to read this. So that it's easier for you to understand. Vocabulary and speaking. In your opinion, what is the best scientific invention? For me, maybe mobile phone. Nowadays, we can use mobile phone for almost everything. The Science Museum. Explore the world and have fun. Who am I? Find out how your DNA makes you different from other people. And how a scientist will make a clone of you. Okay, so from your clone, so from your DNA, we are able to make another person that is the same with you. Daripada DNA, kita boleh buatkan orang yang serupa dengan kita. Food of the future. Makanan masa depan. We like the shu. Millions of people around the world go hungry every day. But are genetically modified crops really the answer? Okay, so genetically modified crops means they are going to produce more food of the same kind. Maybe some plants cannot grow well because of the weather. So they are going to produce the same food using scientific method. The secrets of medicine. How does a scientist find a cure for a disease? And how can a vaccine stop you getting ill? Learn the answers to these questions and more. Okay, so, apa rahsia ubat? Okay, macam mana uh, saintis boleh mencari ubat untuk semua penyakit? Journey into space. Experience space in 3D in our amazing IMAX cinema. Travel by spacecraft to the planet. Mars and see the view from a satellite flying around the Earth. Okay, so dekat museum ni, kamu boleh pergi menjelajah angkasa lepas dekat Mars. Okay, dengan dari penglihatan menggunakan satellite secara 3D. You know what's the meaning of 3D, right? Healthy Earth, bumi yang sehat. Watch a wind turbine and a solar panel make electricity. And see what happens to a battery when you throw it away. Which part of the museum would you like to visit? Why? I would like to visit the IMAX cinema because I am trusted to know more about universe and other planets. Okay, so this is a sample answer that you can give. Okay, copy and complete the table with the correct words from exercise 1. Okay, so there are some words. Okay, you can categorize them under different categories. For example, D and A is under medicine. 
corn under medicine. Genetically modified crops under environment. Cure under medicine. Disease under medicine. Spacecraft under space. Planet under space. Satellite under space. Wind turbine under environment. Solar panel under environment. Battery under environment. Okay, what do you want to know about science in the future? Write one question for each of the three subheadings in exercise 3. Okay, so these are examples of the questions that we can ask. Space. Okay, angkasa lepas. Okay, example of questions. Can humans live on moon in the future? Boleh tak manusia tinggal di atas bulan pada masa depan? Are there any living things on other planets? What is the most suitable planet besides on Earth or human to live in? Okay, adakah ada planet yang lebih sesuai untuk manusia tinggal? Medicine. Will there be cure for all diseases? Okay, adakah ada uh, rawatan untuk semua penyakit? Will humans die of disease in the future? Is there any pill that can provide us with everlasting life? Adakah ada ubat yang boleh kita buatkan kita? Boleh hidup sepanjang hayat. Environment. Will there be any animal on earth in the future? Will animals stand in our house in the future? Maksudnya, uh, haiwan tinggal bersama dengan manusia pada masa depan. So, there are some other questions that we can ask. Okay, our second part will be on page 53. By the end of this lesson, pupils are able to give the meaning of the difficult words, answer comprehension questions about the text, tell the class about future inventions. Okay, six amazing predictions for the future. Okay, so the new words here, prediction, jangkaan, yitze, futurologist means someone who can look into the future, necessary, translate, Advance predictions, futurologist, necessary, translate, advance. Okay, so now let's listen. Exercise 1 Six amazing predictions for the future. Will the world be very different 20 years from now? Futurologist Mark Mann gives us his view of life in the future. 1. Many people who are born in the 2040s will live until they are 150. That's because there will be vaccines for most serious diseases, including cancer. 2. Cars will drive themselves. Our cars will take us wherever we want to go, safely and easily, and we'll be able to relax and enjoy the ride. 3. Learning a second language won't be necessary. We'll be able to buy tiny computers that fit in our ear and translate what we hear into our own language. 4. There will be genetically modified crops that are very healthy. For example, sweets will have vitamins in them. We'll also be able to buy square fruit and vegetables that fit in the fridge more easily. 5. People will go on holiday to space. Thousands of us will work in space stations, which will have hotels, restaurants, and sports stadiums. 6. We'll be able to play video games just by thinking. The games will be advanced enough to understand what move we want to make. It will make the move for us. We won't need to touch anything. Okay, so Unit that's, five. that's the passage just now.
Okay, so number one, many people who are born in the 2040s will live until they are 150. Okay, manusia akan hidup untuk jangka masa yang lebih lama sampai 150 tahun sebab ada rawatan untuk kesemua penyakit. Okay, number two, cars will drive themselves. Okay, so kereta akan bawa kita ke mana-mana yang kita nak. Jadi kita tak perlu pandu, kita hanya duduk dalam kereta saja. Number three, learning a second language won't be necessary. Kita tak perlu belajar bahasa asing. Okay, kita tak perlu belajar bahasa yang lain. Kita akan ada satu chip, benda yang kecil letak dekat telinga kita yang boleh terjemahkan apa yang kita dengar kepada bahasa kita. There will be genetically modified crops that are very healthy. Okay, uh, akan ada uh, tanaman yang telah di melalui proses kimia Dalam dia ada vitamin. Jadi kita dan seterusnya kita boleh beli buah-buahan dan sayur-sayuran dalam bentuk segi empat yang kita boleh letakkan dalam peti sejuk. People will go on holiday to space. Okay, so kita akan bercuti dekat angkasa lepas. And number six, we will be able to play video game just by thinking. Kita tak perlu gerakkan tangan untuk main video game, kita boleh Berfikir, gunakan otak saja. Okay, contohnya nak bergerak ke kiri, nak bergerak ke kanan, kita gunakan otak saja. Okay, which predictions are about travel and transport? So, one until six. Which one is about travel and transport? The answer is number two. Okay, two and five. Okay, which one is about medicine? One. Okay, it's about one here. Which one is about entertainment? Number six, video games. Which one is about eating? Number four. Which one is about education? Number three. Okay, read the article again and answer the questions about the future. What age will people live to? The answer is here. Until 150. So people will live until 150. Why won't people learn to drive? Kenapa manusia, eh, kenapa orang tak perlu belajar untuk memandu? Cars will drive themselves. Because cars will drive themselves. How will computers help people who can speak foreign languages? How will computers help people? Macam mana komputer boleh bantu orang yang tak boleh cakap bahasa asing? Okay, they will translate what we hear into our own language. Okay, mereka akan bantu untuk translatekan apa yang kita dengar ke dalam bahasa kita sendiri. Translate what we hear into our own language. How will fruits and vegetables be different? Apa kelainan sayur dengan buah-buahan berbanding sekarang? They will be square dalam bentuk segi empat. Where will people stay on a space station? Where? Di manakah? Di manakah manusia akan tinggal? Where will they stay? They will stay. Okay, they will stay in hotels. Okay, we will have hotels. They will stay in hotels in the space. What will people have to do when they play video games? Okay, so what do people don't have to do? We don't need to touch anything. Okay, so they can use the mind, use the brain to uh, play. They don't have to touch anything. That's all for my lesson today. Remember to click subscribe and share with your friends. See you in the next lesson.